track wrestling here at the Iowa State High School Tournament at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines with newly minted four-time Iowa State High School champion Brody Teske. I guess at this point, uh, having this over and done with, what are you feeling? Uh, hasn't really sank in yet, but uh, you know, hearing, hearing him say 26 Iowa four-timer, you know, so uh, yeah, mission complete, right? Uh, for now, on to bigger and better. And uh, it feels good to finally, you know, have not much like a pressure release, you know, it's, it's not pressure, you know, I wasn't even really nervous for that match, honestly. Uh, just a lot of like anxiety just to go get it done, you know, and uh, yeah, on to bigger and better and there's uh, a future that's bright and there's going to be a lot more fans than what we see tonight, but uh, this is awesome and I wouldn't want to have won four in any other state. What, uh, what kind of weight comes with this territory? Uh, there's a lot of good and bad. It's, I mean, it's all what you put on yourself, you know, so you can decide to let it wear on you and uh, beat you down or you can just push it off to the side and just continue to do what you do and have fun. And I decided a long time ago that I was going to have fun with it all and it's been a blast and yeah, again, it's just, it's a lot of emotion right now. It feels good. You, uh, Obviously, going out of state, going to Penn State. Next time that you come back uh, to compete in Iowa, you're going to be wearing blue and white, and and have uh, you know, whether it be in Carver or where it may be, you're going to have some people that you know might be cheering against you. But certainly, 16,000 people in this arena tonight uh, give you a huge ovation, and yeah. and I can't imagine what that is like when you're on your knees there uh, after you get the get the pin, or or you're standing on top of the podium. Can you describe what that is like? Uh, I appreciate it. You know, honestly, uh, that's that's what wrestlers work for, right? You you want to go out, perform, and make the crowd happy, and have 16,000 people stand on their feet and clap for you. You know, so it feels really good. And uh, again, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, just I don't know. It's a lot of emotion right now. And honestly, all I can say is just there's bigger and better to come. So on to the next. What uh, what's the spring and summer look like for you? I uh, haven't talked a whole lot to Kale. You know, they got a busy season right now, but uh, obviously there's Russians training, right? Got to go back to the drawing board, reevaluate, uh, let this one soak in for a little while, and then get right back to work. Uh, obviously, I'm going to try and make a world team again this summer and, uh, you know, compete for my country. So, Who was the first four-timer you remember? Like growing up, like the first one in Iowa that you... you Really paid attention yeah, to. Yeah, you really paid attention uh, to. I remember, I don't remember how old I was, but uh, we, me and my dad, we drove up and watched, obviously, the Fort Dodge kids, but uh, Corey Clark and John Meeks. I remember my dad handed me a newspaper, and it was just a big article of Corey Clark and John Meeks and how they had trained together, and uh, I really, I thought that was really sweet. And uh, talking my dad into getting finals tickets, we watched finals, watched them, and uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I grew up wrestling with Happel, and uh, I don't... I didn't really know Sorensen and uh, Marlon, but I know the Wrestling with Iowa movie. I've watched that probably a thousand times <laughs> just to get, you know, the, the feel and stuff. And that's what keeps me going. And uh, Yeah, probably some of them guys. So When did you first start thinking about winning for as a realistic possibility for you? Uh, I think it's every wrestler's goal, right? You want to win yeah. every tournament. And back in eighth grade, I uh, dropped a few other sports and it was just like, you know what, I'm going to focus on wrestling. And that's actually one of the time periods when I had seen Happel win his first pretty dominantly. And I was like, you know, that's 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 badass. I want to do that. And uh, so probably in eighth grade, I decided it would work, bud. Uh, eighth grade, I really decided. And then freshman year, I come in and win my first. And it really sank in, you know, like, all right, this is a possibility. You know, keep working hard and having fun with it, and it'll happen. And sure enough, here we are. How do you want... Uh people in this state to remember you? Uh, just the wrestler, you know, that went out and put on a show every time he laced up the shoes and the ankle brace, you know? Uh, yeah, just dominance, right? So. Ford Dodge has got such an incredible wrestling history, but, you know, and it goes way back and then maybe a little bit dormant here in the last uh, couple decades to bring it back. What has the, the community support been like and, and what have you seen from the way Ford Dodge has gotten behind this wrestling team? Yeah, uh, you know, bringing 13 guys down to the state tournament and having a send-off 
we at one of the local bars and we were signing posters and t-shirts and having basically the whole town of Fort Dodge right there, you know, and that just shows there's a lot of support, good and bad, and, you know, we got to feed off of it. And uh, growing up with the 13 other qualifiers that made it here, always banging together and, uh, you know, having the goals be the same, it's awesome to come down and then having, you know, before semis, I guess, I don't know if you guys seen, but they were probably... 10 rows deep with just Fort Dodge like students wow. and right in front of Matt Ford so our six pounder went out there and he was ready to go and it helps you know it, it, it really does <laughs> and uh, I know for myself and the 13 other guys it's it we appreciate it so